Welcome to the part of the chapter that discusses bonds, and bonds is a notoriously difficult topic. So I thought I'd introduce it with baby steps. 94A, 95A, pretty gentle, short questions, and then you get into 96, 97, 98, they're a little harder. But what is a bond fundamentally? It's a company borrowing money, but they're not borrowing from the bank, they're borrowing from investors. And in, in borrowing from investors, it means there's a market for their bond. So in other words, I say, hey, I want to borrow $1,000 from you. I promise to pay you back with interest, and my interest rate is 3%. And the investor goes, ah, 3%'s not good, I, and nobody buys it. And if that's the case, the price of your bond comes down, and so you end up trying to borrow 1000 and you only get 900 bucks. Why is that? Because your interest rate was too low? the investors paid a discounted amount. Or if I say, hey, I'm gonna offer 12% interest and the investors go, oh my gosh, I love 12%, then your price gets bid up and your bonds issue at what's called a premium. Because of these market dynamics, it makes accounting for bonds more challenging. But let's just start with that fundamental concept. If you offer low interest, compared to similar companies to yours in the market, your bonds will issue at a discount. Investors aren't gonna buy them. Uh, they'll have to take a lower price. If you offer very generous interest, investors are gonna pay extra, they're going to pay a premium. That's what this question gets at. So let's read it. High Flyers Inc. issues a bond that pays 5% interest. The market rate of interest for similar companies is 6.5%. Okay, so we're offering 5%. Similar companies to us are offering 6.5%. Will our bonds issue at a discount or a premium? Well, if we're only offering 5 and you can get 6.5% somewhere else, you're not gonna buy my bond for full price. You're gonna to need to have some discounted price to, to wanna to buy the bond. So these bonds will issue at a discount. Why? Because there are more attractive, similar companies offering six and a half, right? You can get a better price somewhere else. Uh, there, there's no need to buy my bonds. Cool Beans Inc issues a bond that pays 5% interest. The market rate for similar companies is 3.5%. Okay, so we're offering five. Similar companies are only offering 3.5%. Well, in this scenario, all of a sudden, we're much more attractive than those other companies. If we're more attractive than our competitor companies or similar companies to us, uh, investors will be willing to pay a premium for our bonds, again, because it's, it's all relative. It's compared to similar companies with similar risk profiles. Assume that High Flyers Inc. and Cool Beans issued their 5% bonds on the same date at the same time. Why would one issue at a discount and the other at a premium. The primary reason why two companies could issue one at 5% and one's a discount, one 5% one's a premium is because, well, the company's risk profiles are different. Remember, a bond is you're loaning money to somebody. How likely is it that they're going to pay you back? If you told me I can loan money to MIT, you know, the one of the most famous universities in the world, very solid, very stable, or Harvard, you know, that type of place. Or I can loan money to uh, Tony's discount education store, right? Well, you would obviously say, oh, I'd rather give my money to MIT than Tony's discount education store. I think MIT is going to be around to pay me back. You know, if they sign the contract, MIT is a much safer bet than Tony's discount education store. So why would one issue at a discount and the other a premium? It speaks to the quality of the company and the outlook for the industry. So those are two big reasons why two companies can both issue at 5% on the same day, same time. One gets a premium, one gets a discount. It's the quality of the company and the quality of the industry. Um, is it possible in the real for two companies to issue 5% bonds same day, same time, and have one issue at a discount and the other a premium? Why or why not? Absolutely yes. Again, MIT issues a bond uh, offering 5% today, and uh, Joe's crypto uh, speculation <laughs> investor uh, offers a 5% bond today. Hey, I mean, Joe's crypto speculation investor might be a good company. I wouldn't lend them the money at this. Maybe I would lend them the money, but I would 
lend MIT the money first, right? So MIT would be much more attractive to me because again, I'm looking just for somebody to pay me back. I want the very stable company with a very long track record. MIT is much more attractive and would be much more attractive to investors. Joe's would have to offer a much higher rate of interest to even be in the same ballpark as MIT, which is why MIT would issue at a premium and Joe's would likely issue at a discount because you wouldn't want to lend that money to Joe's crypto investment scheme. Uh, okay, there you go. We've solved a 9-4-A and I hope this is just us dangling a toe in the waters of bonds. As we go on, we step up in difficulty each problem. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. The next video in our series is right up here and if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.